thank God for so much. I want to give God all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. Big shout out to the YouTube family. Hope and pray all as well. I'm probably going to get ready to make a whole lot of people mad with this video because I'm going to tell the truth. And as I check all of my comments, I think this is the one that sticks out the hardest to me about the church. Now, if God is the author of peace and not confusion, Satan is the author of confusion, God is the author of peace. And when we look at what's going on in the house of God right now, and we wonder why folks don't want to go to church no more. We wonder why the atheists believe what they want to believe. We wonder why folks don't want to come to God no more because look at the way we represent God. Now, I want to hit on the Christian folks right now in these churches. Yeah, go ahead and get mad at me. If you see the title and you don't want to look at it, go ahead and cut it off. Because if God is the author of peace, why in the hell do we have so much mess? in these churches. Oh yes, the devil does his job and he does it well. And it's hard, it seems like more Christian folks, people who, I'm talking to y'all now, the ones who claim to love the Lord so much and oh, I'm a forgiving person and y'all act just like these Pharisees in the Bible. If God is the author of peace, why church folks can't get along with church folks? Oh, let's just talk about all of it. If God is the author of peace and not confusion, why preachers can't get along with preachers? If God is the author of peace and not confusion, why in the hell is homosexuality all over the church instead of being put in position? Mm, Uh-oh. And I don't have nothing against homosexuals. I'm talking about sin and all now. Love you, but hate the sin. If God is the author of peace, why in the world is all these musicians sleeping around with the praise team? Uh-oh. If God is the author of peace and not confusion, where is all this confusion coming from? Well, we know where it's coming from because it looks like Satan is operating half of these churches because God sure ain't in it. Why, JT? God don't bless no mess. If God is the author of peace and not confusion, why are there so many deacons in here running these young women in the church? Why are there so many hoes in the church? Why are people still calling themselves born again, delivered, and oh, so saved and sanctified, and they the worst ones in the church? Mm. If God is the author of peace and not confusion, well, Christian folks, why are you not standing on the word. Matter of fact, why you not living the word? If God is about love and peace, why you can't forgive your brother? Mm. If God is the author of peace, why you can't get 10 people to get on one accord for the Lord? Mm. I know it's sad, people, what I'm talking about. And you wonder why things seem like they're getting closer and closer to the end? Well, look at the house of God and wonder why folks don't want to go no more. Ain't hardly nobody keeping the real in these churches. Christians done became the mastermind of how, trying to hide they mess. And they, they think they're doing it well, but what, what it says, let the weeds and the weeds grow together. Because when harvest time come, we know who's going to do the separating. Walk around and talking about God is, oh, the author of peace. Satan is confusion. Well, why Satan got your church? Why do he have your church? And then you get mad at folks when they don't come to church and wonder why they ain't coming to church. Why? You can't clean up what's on the inside. So how in the hell are you going to reach the outside and the inside still messed up? Folks walking around and talking about they born again. Uh, if God is the author of peace and not confusion, well, preachers, why you instead of getting in the pulpit begging folks for all this money when you can't take none of this stuff with you to heaven? Hmm. See, a lot of this stuff going on, it ain't church. Church ain't church. Church done became mess. The house of God is a joke now. People get in the pulpit is a joke now. People get in these choir stairs is a joke. All these fake folks sitting in the congregation is a joke. Some of these minister of music ain't nothing but a joke. If God is the author of peace and not confusion, why is the church so confused right now? Let me hit on some of these prophets. If God is the author of peace and not confusion, well, to all you lost prophets, why you instead of prophesying to folks? 
you supposed to be the prophet and you don't even know which direction to go in. Oh, but we're saying God is the author of peace. Remember the book of John? I believe that was John. The Bible says Satan is the prince of this world. Good God Almighty. If God is not confusion, why is there so much confusion in the house of God? Mm. So I'm talking to the Christian folks now. We ain't talking about the world. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like Paul in this video. What in the hell wrong with these churches? If God is the author of peace, why ain't your church operating the way God say? Uh-oh. If God is so loving and, and so peaceful, people, why do we do God the way we do? Mm. But ain't nothing new under the sun, is it? See, I check my emails every day, and when I see emails like this, oh, I try to just tell the truth. And I don't care who get mad at it, because it's harder for me to go to church. Y'all remember the video I did? It's getting harder and harder to go to church. Yes, it is. And when you look at Revelation, and you look at the letter to the seven churches, you look, you look at what was wrote to those seven churches. It make you think about nowadays, why the house of God is so jacked up. And God is not confusing. If God is so much confusion, we wouldn't need, I'm going to tell you something. God never confused none of us. Let me just say this right. Let me just hit it like this. If God is the author of peace, why in the world we got so much damn religion right now? And ain't nobody getting no relationship with God when it ain't never been about your religion. Mm. If God is the author of peace, and Satan is the author of confusion me in church folks. Why would some of these homeless and lost folks come knocking on your church though? You turn them away from the church. You down them. You talk about them. You're doing everything, you, you doing everything except what the Bible say do. But you talking about, oh, I'm a Christian. Hmm. Why is it that Christians ain't lining up with the word of God? Why is it Christians ain't practicing the way of life a Christian is supposed to be. Because that's what Christianity is. Ain't no religion. It's a relationship with God. The way of life a child of God is supposed to live. So if God is the author of peace, why are you following the devil? Mm. You claim you love, you love the Lord so much, but you don't even love your own brother. You won't even help your sister. Confusion all over the house of God. And it's going to get worse in words, because Satan is the author of confusion. Satan does know the word of God. Satan does know how to pray. Satan does know how to praise. Why, JT? Because Satan once was with God, and he know more about God than we would ever think about. Because he was right there. Until he wanted to be higher than God, why do you think he took a third of heaven when he was cast down? Oh. Why do you think he's taking, look like a a half of these churches right now. We got a million buildings up, but ain't nothing going on in them. We got six or seven churches on one street, but ain't no fellowship between them. The community still jacked up. Everybody talking about everybody, but God is the author of peace. Well, where is the peace at, people? Why is the peace at? I told this lady the other day when she told me about her church and why she left. I said, lady, I can't even blame you. Because God ain't in it. And it's hard to keep going to church when God ain't in the church. Because you got false lead, fake speaking in tongues, people running around here shouting and faking the Holy Ghost and thinking that they, oh, what did the Bible say? Everybody saying, Lord, Lord, mm, did not, not cast out demons in your name. Didn't we not do this? Didn't we not do that? They are not going to inherit the kingdom. I'm going to say this again like my old video. It's going to be a whole lot of church folks being cast in the lake of fire if they ain't corrupt. I ain't talking about hell. I said the lake of fire. There is a difference. If God is the author of peace and not confusion, well, why is there so much confusion in the house of God once again? I want y'all to answer this question. And I want somebody to tell me, why you get mad at folks when they don't come back to church, when your church ain't doing a damn thing? All these preachers around here crying about, oh, I need a bigger building. I can't, you can't even take care of the little building you got. So why would God elevate you in the big building? And you can't even run the little one you got. You praying for five, six, I mean, uh, 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 yeah, one that seats five or six hundred. But you can't even pack out the one that seat a hundred. 
You ever notice in all these smaller churches, you got so much hell out of these smaller churches. You can't get few people to get along. But then Jesus said in the book of Matthew around chapter 7, it's just going to be few in heaven. Didn't he talk about that wide gate? Uh-oh. That wide gate looks so convincing because there's more people in that wide gate. Well, let's look at these churches. Look at all the hell been raised in these churches. Uh-oh, somebody don't like me after this video. If God is the author of peace, why are we doing God like we do them, Christian folks? Why? Why folks can't live the word instead of walking around here quoting? Come on, let's go back to these Pharisees. Yeah, they, they practice them. Oh, they know the word, don't they? But don't practice what they do. They so caught up in trying to please God by doing what? Making themselves higher than somebody else. God don't like that. Best believe God is all oh, looking at a whole lot of stuff right now. Man, you don't even want to be around on Judgment Day for looking at what's going on right now. And the sad thing is, ain't nobody even trying to repent and turn from their wicked ways. I'm talking about the church. I ain't talking about people in the world right now. I'm talking about these jacked up churches. Now, if your church is operating by God and everything is running the way the Lord say do it, let me give you a hand. This video don't apply to you, but I'm talking about all these messed up churches. It's more messed up churches than churches that are actually doing right. Y'all know I ain't lying. Because you look at how wicked people are. Preachers won't even stand on the word of God. And I'm not talking about condemning folks from the pulpit. I'm talking about if you know the word of God and you know that there are qualifications for leadership, why in the hell are you putting these homosexuals over the, over the choir? Why are you putting them over your children? And you're wondering why the children growing up gay, confused. Now we want to legalize everything. that got. We want to legalize sin. And wondering why God ain't pleased. Why is all these jacked up people being put in for being put in position? Preachers, what are you doing? Because you jacked up yourself, the ones that's doing this. You more caught on your love of money, your material things, but you ain't caught on side uh soul winning. Uh-oh. I'm finna make a whole lot of people mad with this comment with this with this right here. You more concerned about what's in your damn wallet than what's in your heart. What about my soul? What about my salvation? Forget the salvation. How much money you got in your pocket? Oh, let's talk about prosperity. Half of these churches around here and in this world is jacked up. But there are some doing the will of the Father. If God is the author of peace and not confusion, why in the hell is all this confusion in the church? People going to church because, oh, I went to church today. That's why I tell folks, you can go to church every Sunday. You can go to choir rehearsal every Wednesday or Thursday, whatever your day is. You can go to church as much as you can and still wind up not knowing who the Lord is. Because you just done caught up, got caught up in, well, I went to church. Well, how many people sitting in the church right now are so far away from the Lord they don't have a clue? How many people been going to church 20, 30 years and they just been taught man tradition and not the true word of God? The author of confusion is the devil. And if you caught up in all this confusion, then the devil got you. Because once again, any man made in Christ is a new creature. Let me say mankind. Old things pass away. Why the hell all these churches still got these old things in there? They ain't passing away. Homosexual ain't, homosexuality ain't going nowhere. Sleeping with these holes in the church ain't going nowhere. Holes in the church ain't going nowhere. God gonna have to do the separating. All these deacons sleeping around, all this backstabbing, shacking up, everything, you name it, sin, sin, sin. And we represent God like this. Mm, it's just something to think about. I'm going to sign off right here. Y'all take care and be blessed.